The Great Basin Desert is notoriously hot and dry, so it may surprise you that a glacier has survived frozen for tens of thousands of years on the border of Utah and Nevada. Science and Nature Specialist John Hollenhorst hiked to the glacier to meet with scientists who are trying to figure out how it's doing in this era of global warming. Wheeler Peak is an alpine wilderness, a U.S. version of the Matterhorn high above a vast desert that stretches across Nevada and Utah. The road in Great Basin National Park takes you above 9,000 feet. And then there's a couple of miles of hiking. Thousands of years ago, a glacier would have filled this. Scientist Scott Reinemann points out a jumble of rocks left by glaciers in the distant past. When the ice age ended, it got warmer and drier less and less moisture, and we can get the glaciers retreating up into the higher mountains. We hiked higher through a bristlecone forest, gnarled, twisted trees, the oldest on Earth. These trees have been here since, you know, Christ walked the Earth, or since the Egyptians built their pyramids, since before the Egyptians built their pyramids. So. Above 10,000 feet, the white stuff. Not glacial ice, but snow. This starts to melt in the spring. It probably covered most of the terrain we're walking across. It'll probably be gone by late August. At around 11,000 feet, you might see Lee eddies. Science in action. I can feel downslope wind here. Three balloons dangling a camera towed by a research team. That is taking a picture every 15 seconds of whatever it's looking at on the ground. So here we are at the glacier. It's not the snow behind me. That snow fell last winter. This is the glacier. It's right here in the rocks. Nearly all of the glacier is out of sight. The balloon photos will help scientists create a computer model like this to see if the buried glacier is shrinking under lobes of rock. And if that ice is melting, they're losing mass. And so those lobes might be subsiding a little bit in elevation. Due to climatic change? Or? Well, that's the question. That's the question. It's just another piece of the puzzle. So, uh, you know, we don't know if it's changing shape until we attempt to map it. They're also studying where the water comes from that people depend on along the Utah-Nevada border and how that might change as the climate warms. Is the springs and the creeks and the rivers that feed all the springs lower in the valley, are they coming from melt from this glacier or are they coming from um, kind of annual snowpack? Ohio scientists began studying the Rock Glacier 10 years ago because it's so far south, the same latitude as Columbus, Ohio. Hikers, too, are impressed that a remnant of the Ice Age survives in an unlikely place. Yes, somehow, because we are in the middle of the Great Basin Desert, and I never expected this before, so I'm pretty um, surprised, astonished, yes. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, Great Basin National Park. John, thanks. This year's scientific study was the biggest yet with 13 scientists and students from the University of Georgia, Ohio State, and Miami University of Ohio.